And then, of course, the Italians sort of came on the scene. They had got John Charles several years before uh, to go to Italy. Uh, so they were coming in, they were looking for British players uh, more than anything. The money side was such that, you know, Manchester City, who were prepared to, to pay that, but, you know, Italy, you can imagine, Italy conjures up all sorts, doesn't it? You know, like lovely weather, and don't forget we were single as well, uh, and, you know, the food. It was fantastic. I couldn't believe the welcome we got in the Turin airport that, there must have been about 10,000 fans there, and I said, what the hell are these guys doing here? And we found out that it was for us. The problem we had was trying to get some privacy, and there was no way you could get it after saying from me. Uh, we were one of the, the pioneers into Italian football. Well, the media were different to what we experienced back in, in England. You know, it was just every day was a press conference. Now, today, that's how it is here, but... In those early days, you didn't, you know, you, there wasn't the media as it was. You didn't have to go on television. You didn't have to do anything, really. Uh, but over there, you did. And it was a long process because, of course, we didn't speak Italian. So everything was done. The guy would ask me the question, I would give him back a thing. It was a, so each day was just like, it did you, you know, did your brain in, really. Of course, Turin is near the Alps, <laughs> unknown to me. And in the winter, it was like three foot of snow. So gone were the days of the beaches and the sun and all that. And Torino, strangely enough, had lost all their team in an air crash in 1948. So they were, again, taking a long time to build up. Torino were the big club. Uh, but, of course, when I went there, they weren't the big club that I thought they were. Everything was great about Italy, bar the football. We were playing very defensive, Catenaccio, which was the bolt system, where nine defenders, two attackers, we played the same way. It was only Joe and I up front, and the rest of the team were at the back. We were actually assaulted. Serious assault was happening on the football field with Dennis and myself. Serious assault. Now, I'd never been sent off in a game in my life before I went to Italy. And the first game I played in Italy, I was sent off. Dennis went for a, to take a throw in once and he came back with half a jersey on. They, they caught him through the bad wire at the back of his shirt and tore the jersey off his back. And he came back to me and said, Joe, what are we doing here? I said, Dennis, we'll have to put up with it now, son. I said, we're here, we've signed a contract. We weren't used to training all day either. This was another thing. You know, there was a lot of things. Different culture, plus the fact we were too young. In today's world, 21 year old is quite, he knows a lot. 21 in those days, we were just boys, really. I suppose like in life, you know, things look greener on the other side. They're not, they're not always that. Enjoyed everything else about Italy. The people were lovely. The football was awful. 